Welcome back, everyone. Each year, the Animal Poison Control Center receives more than 200,000 cases of potential pet poisonings. In many of those cases, it's because a pet ate something that many of us have in our homes. New today, we look at some common items that could be toxic to your dog or cat. If you own a dog or cat, you've probably seen them sniffing around, scoping out the room, and in some cases, putting unfortunate things in their mouths. A sock. A uh, dead lizard. A tampon. <laughs> but some of those random items could be dangerous. If you've been baking a lot during the pandemic, you want to make sure to keep the dog away from raw bread dough. The yeast cells produce ethanol, which can quickly raise your dog's blood alcohol level and cause accidental alcohol poisoning. Avocados are mildly poisonous to cats and dogs, but can be deadly to horses, birds, and rabbits. Medications account for just over 37% of calls to Animal Poison Control Center. Ibuprofen, cold medicine, antidepressants, ADHD medications, they were the ones most commonly ingested by dogs, followed by heart medications. They cause difficulty breathing and vomiting in cats and liver failure, dry eye, and red blood cell injury in dogs. Pet products that you buy from your vet can also be dangerous for your pets, like medications that look and taste like treats. They account for nearly 10% of calls to animal poison control. If you think your pet maybe ate something that is dangerous, you can call the ASPCA Animal Poison Control Center. Uh, we put that website up and the number on tmj4.com slash links. Good thing they just have handy there if you've got pets in the house. Yeah, I mean, it's like having another baby, right? You just have to be so careful.